Climate change means everything to me because I have to adapt to the changes itself by hunting further. The food tastes different. Climate change is real and it's happening now. I used to think climate change is something that is going to affect the world in the distant future. It wasn't something that affected me personally. What climate change really means for people and for species is how much are we going to lose in the 21st century. Now I understand the issues and I understand it's going to have a huge impact on our lives today. It will affect all aspects of our life. It isn't a future thing, it's a right now thing. I think climate change affects us in our daily lives, even today. One example is that I used to go skiing for Thanksgiving every year, and I can't do that anymore. The snow is gone. Since 2004, uh, the Amazon region is it's facing uh, huge uh, events. This is changing uh, dramatically the, the type of, of fishing. Uh, sometimes a uh, fisherman is, is waiting for the migrations of the fishers, and the fishers won't come. Many of the special places that I knew as a child were were freshwater places, a creek behind my house and, and salt marshes um, when I would visit my grandmother. And, uh, and, and I really care about these places. These are, these are places that I've seen really decline as I've grown older. We have uh, less ice packs, so our walruses have less um, pupping areas and the whales of beluga are going further out and they're not coming in as close anymore so that means we have to buy more gas. We, we change. There is migration more and more towards the coast and um, in doing so they, we are clearing mangrove forests, for instance reclaiming seabed, mining more and more. We are destroying our coastlines, we are building right against the, uh, uh, on the border of, the, of the, uh, the coastlines and we just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. In the Virgin Islands in 2005 for example we had a summer of extremely high sea surface temperatures. As a result, we lost 60% of our coral reefs. Just look at the beach. In our lifetime, it's moved from 160 feet to 16 feet. I mean, you can't, uh, you know, you'll need to get hit in the head with a brick to, to see that there's something majorly, you know, happening here. The most important thing on a personal level, I would say, is to take responsibility and to act to reduce your carbon footprint. It's not that scary. There are online tools to do it. You can do it very, very easily. You've actually got to change the way that you uh, do things. Go to work one day a week without a car. If it's at work, if it's at home, turn off your lights, turn off your equipment. No email day. Individual action can add up to a lot of a lot of good. Simple things. Incorporate environmental responsibility into your business decisions. Become informed to understand what the issue is. What's going on? What does it mean? What are the implications? Respecting the earth, respecting the air, respecting the water, treating it with clear and clean conscience. I think one of the biggest barriers is government. America needs to step up as a global leader and that's going to take new political leadership. Make your opinion heard and make it an issue for our legislature, um, for our leaders. We need to set a cap on CO2 and we need to stabilize what's in the atmosphere. We've basically got to be looking at a high degree of domestic and international policy action with strong regulatory frameworks so that we actually start to get emissions down. I regularly talk with people that don't know very much at all and I say, do you care about your kids? It's the younger generation is going to inherit the problem, so they should be taking the lead. This is a global crisis that requires that we take genuine action today. It's scary, but you can do something. And doing something is better than doing nothing. I'm pretty sure it'd be black. It would be black. It would be a dark color, which is a little scary right now. Gray at the moment. Dark gray. Because it's a fog of uncertainty. But I'd hope it to be also a color that would morph into more light. Blue like the sky, and yellow like the sun, and red like the flowers. 
God, I'm such a geeky scientist that I start going into things like it should be white because that's all colors and it affects all things. <laughs> Green, of course. Red, it's a warning. Red. Red. <laughs> red, of course. I guess it's blue. Who in for red? Um, burn orange? Puce. What color is puce? It's 